Deuteronomy 34, 1 through 12. And Moses went up from the plains of Moab into the mountain of Nebo to the top of Pisgah, that is over against Jericho, and Yahweh showed him all the land of Gilead unto Don, in all Naphtali, in the land of Ephraim, in Manasseh, in all the land of Judah, unto the utmost sea, in the south, in the plain of the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees unto Zor. And Yahweh said unto him, This is the land which I swear unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, saying, I will give it unto thy seed. I have caused thee to see it with thine eyes, but thou shalt not go over thither. So Moses, the servant of Yahweh, died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of Yahweh. And he buried him in a valley in the land of Moab, over against Bethpor, but no man knoweth of his sepulcher until this day. And Moses was an hundred and twenty years old when he died. His eyes was not dim, nor his natural force abated. And the children of Israel went for Moses in the plains of Moab thirty days. So the days of weeping and mourning for Moses were ended. And Yahshua, the son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom. For Moses had laid his hands upon him, and the children of Israel hearkened unto him, and did as Yahweh commanded Moses. And there arose not a prophet since in Israel like unto Moses, whom Yahweh knew face to face. And all the signs and the wonders which Yahweh sent him to do in the land of Egypt to Pharaoh and to all his servants and to all his land. And in all that mighty hand and in the great terror which Moses shewed in the sight of all Israel.